I am uh, Jimmy Augusti, the chairman and owner of Bloemfontein Celtic Football Club that uh, campaigns in the Premier Soccer League of South Africa. In the mid 1980s, we had a state of emergency in this country. Um, the black African people of this country were uprising against the apartheid uh, system and the nationalist government. There were riots, uh, there was fire, uh, buses being burned, schools being burned, the riot police were in the townships and in the locations as we know them in South Africa. And this is the time exactly when Bluefontein Celtic as a club started making big waves and huge waves in South Africa and this attracted me to the township. And I found myself spending four to five days a week in the township where I befriended a, a future South African football player of the year, David Modise. I've got Modise here. Yeah. We played football together at Celtic during the apartheid times. Today we are legal friendship. <laughs> yeah, there were times when I would go with him down to town in, in, into the into so-called white areas and um, they would refuse him to go with me into the cinema. They would refuse uh, him to go in with me to the restaurant. And I remember the humiliation and the embarrassment I suffered because I never ever saw anything else besides a human being on the other side. That friendship was cemented in 1993 when Augusti turned professional and joined Medice at Bloemfontein Celtic. In 2001, Augusti bought the struggling Celtic a year after his retirement from the game. They were soon back amongst the elite of South African football. You must remember that we have a country of um, a history in a country of, of segregation and, and, and black being this and white being that. And now you've got this white man owning the most, um, the biggest supporters club in the country, which is all black supporters, African black supporters. Um, the chemistry, you know, it, it, it works one in a million. And it's working at Women and Celtic because I keep my feet on the ground and I, and I address my people as fellow human beings, not as a chairman to a supporter. I'm the only Premier League owner in the country, who club owner in the country, which played for a club and then bought the club. Um, I'm the one and only, I'm proud of the historical facts. I'm born and bred in South Africa to, to Greek family, to Greek roots, Greek origins. Greek South African, I was uh, concerned with the draw Bafana Bafana got in the first round. I knew that Mexico, Uruguay and France would be very tough uh, nut to crack for us to proceed. But I was even more elated the fact that the Greece national team would come and play in Bloemfontein. We're a Greek community in Bloemfontein of about 120 families. We're not the biggest Greek community in the world. And yet we had, uh, we had a, a, a game penciled in Greece, Nigeria. I'm ready for my game today. I got my jersey fully behind the Greek team. We're going to beat Nigeria today in Bloemfontein. We'll teach them a Greek lesson.